our way to the brief now. Uh, this is getting real. Not long and we'll be, uh, we'll be on the start line. So I just come out of the briefing. That was a uh, highly motivational 40 minutes or so. No quitting. No quitting. It's getting done. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And as you say, almost just doesn't matter. <laughs> This is amazing! Well, we've started. We're on the first hill, which is pretty much as soon as you come out of Coniston. So, what we're planning today is just checkpoint to checkpoint. Is it 14 legs? 14 checkpoints. 14 checkpoints. 14 runs. legs. 15 ones. Like, it's the finish line. That's the one. I just get to the end. We will. We sure will. by a wall in the scar and up to the summit they got a nice downhill seven mile in checkpoint one Getting darker, night time soon. We won't be able to do any video in the dark. Checkpoint two at boot. We are uh, just over 14 miles in. Put some more fluids. If it was daylight, you would be looking at wash water. That's what we are moving down the side of. Heading towards Wasdale Head, which is not too far away. Just going into checkpoint three at Wasdale Head. This is 19.5 miles in. Thank you. 
This is Black Sail Pass. It's a great. It's around 11 at night. side of haystacks and then drop down to bottom here Point four. Thank you. This is bottom here. And it's starting to rain. So we'll probably put coats on me. Right. Oh, brilliant. That ascent was horrible. I believe it was sail pass. Oh, absolutely terrible. But we've got to. Uh, a big descent now and then the other side so hopefully we can uh, start moving again this is checkpoint five braithwaite 33 miles in good job just gone five starting to come light but a great deal to see. Still raining. Heading to the Blinkathra Centre now. It's been really tough so far. Very difficult at night with a head torch and th narrow paths. But we're making our way around. We're getting there slowly. What? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh. What are we doing? <laughs> Approaching checkpoint six, which is the Blancathra Centre. Oh yeah, 41.7 miles in. Get ready for something to eat. Jeez! Oh. <laughs> A rainbow. <laughs> Next aid station will be Dockery in less than a mile. There's soup there, so looking forward to sweeping a sandwich. Pretty hungry now. And then, uh, what took you? What do you say? This bloody course. That's what took us. It's uh, this is Tad. What's that? Oh my god, there's another one. Let's see what this one says. Oh, we're nearly 50 miles in. 
reckon she's good. And then you see that. You know, there, you wish. Correct, I do. We've got just over 55 to go. It is, and it was pretty much all night. So no, it couldn't be worse. And that is not gonna happen because we are getting round. And here is checkpoint seven at Dockery. And we are just over 49 and a half miles in. Where's my suit? I'm ready. Well, we're just short of 51 mile, so well, it's not over, not halfway yet. Not far off. <laughs> not far off. It's a really tough race, this. But we're picking at it, aid station to aid station, and we're going to get it done. Not sure how long it's going to take us, but I don't care. As long as I'm at the end of this race. With your medal. With right my buckle. Oh, your buckle, sorry, it's not a medal issue. And my race t-shirt. Then I'll be absolutely made up. You'll have it. <laughs> Where have you come from? Cock and down the side oh, of the Olds Waterway. Yeah. Very picturesque. This guy is killing me. But it's good for the, the west side, like the right. Still by the old waterway. This is a lovely section to the wooded areas. A mile away from Dalmain now, so I'm told there's a cup of tea with our name on it. So yeah, spurring us on a bit. Can't wait. Need that. <laughs> Definitely need that. It's getting tough now, so we are 58 and a half miles. So when we leave Dale Main, or Dale Main, sorry, we'll have only 46 miles to do. Only. Only. <laughs> yeah, that. Dale Main, absolutely unreal, unreal, we are 59.7 miles in and Dale Main checkpoint, this is also the start of a late one system. Well the Dale Main aid station was unreal because we had Basically all the 50 competitors waiting to start so they kind of they lined up and they were cheering every 100 competitor in to the 59 mile checkpoint and I've got to admit it did bring a, a little tear to my eye it was, uh, it was unreal absolutely loving this weekend and definitely a type 2 way but, but yeah it's uh, this race is unreal and uh, organised so so well. But I don't think we'll do it again. <laughs> Got the view of Old's Water from the other side. Got quite a few 50 runners passing us now. They're unreal. The speed they're going past. Channel. Well done. Video, Good running. Thank you. Yeah, so... Going to checkpoint nine, which is Mad Hill Head. And we've done just under 67 miles. Oh, yeah. 
We are currently ascending Fusedale. This is absolutely ridiculous. There's parts of this that are unbelievably steep. It certainly feels that way. Oh my god. I feel like I'm never going to get to the top of this. Okay, so we're heading up Fusedale. The 50 runners have joined us. And this is a complete and utter. I can't see it on camera. I think we all know what you mean. <laughs> it's false summit after false summit with 45 degree angles and it's a nightmare. Who puts this in the middle of a hundred? In the middle? Mental. Yeah, if it was in the middle. So we're, we're nearly 70 miles in. 70 miles and this. Up there to the top. Oh. Made it to the top of Fusedale. And now attempting to run off. This is, this is hard going. Making our way down the side of Hawes Water. This is checkpoint 10. Welcome to Thank you. Yeah. No Thank you. Yeah. Well, 76.3 miles. I want to be every single one of them. What the? It's so terrible. The gust of wind, rain. Extremely slippery. It's turned into uh, a very, very difficult race. Checkpoint 11. We are now just short of 83 miles in. Some to treat and drink. And see what we've got. The last bit. And this is checkpoint number 12. So two left after this one. We're getting closer. This is checkpoint 13 and we have done 96 miles now. Final checkpoint, checkpoint 14. We are 102.4 miles in. We've got pretty much a uh, three mile section and, uh, and that's it. We are back at the finish line and it's all done. Back to here. Run up Jacob's ladder now. So the tradition is pounding the bucket. Up we go. And this is the start of the 5k final bit before we uh, venture back to John Ruskin School and get our buckles. Well, we did it. Took some doing. <laughs> it definitely did. Took some doing. <laughs> um, right, okay. Uh, where do we start? 
it's Monday. Um, so we've had a we had a night's sleep last night. It wasn't a great one, uh, but we've got some sleep. Um, the race itself, uh, we definitely feared this one, didn't we? Yeah, on um, the run up to this, it was: have we trained enough? Are we well enough? Are we fit enough? Can we get round it? And it was just pure panic for the week leading up to the race itself. I'd certainly say the fears were justified because this race, um, unless you're going to be very prepared for it, I would say that it's going to be very difficult. It's going to test your um, not just your physical strength, but definitely your mental strength as it did all the way through, to be honest. Yeah, it's definitely the biggest challenge we've ever faced so far, isn't mm. it? Yeah. yeah. The um, the actual setup is fantastic. Uh, if you've not done a uh, Lakeland 50 or 100 race before, uh, it's our first. Um, the briefing was absolutely brilliant that Mark put on. Um, it's very motivational. It really, really gets you in the mood. The camping village, at John Ruskin School in Coniston uh, was brilliant. Uh, it's a close-knit community. All the competitors are all very, very close together, very friendly. So we made lots of new friends. That was good. Yeah. Um, as for the weather on the event, it was typical Lake District. You had your sun, you had your wind, you had your rain, you had your torrential downpours, you had your rivers, or, well, Runoff rivers. Run rivers. I wasn't was. supposed to be there, but we're there. Yeah, we're. <laughs> but yeah, just typical Lake District weather, really. So, yeah, what I expected. Really. That's exactly what yeah. you're going to expect for the Lake District, even in summer. Um, yeah. You're not going to get good weather, or well, not perfect weather anyway. But it was, it was, it was still okay. It was not a problem. Uh, got a bit of special mention for the start. Um, I thought that was unreal. Um, uh, we had the the opera singer at the start, which was which was really good, really good yeah. singing Ness and Dorma, uh, and then we went off then to um, ACDC, yeah, um, <laughs> which was which was brilliant into a mass of people running down through Coniston. Yeah. Um, it was I've never felt anything like it. It was so busy. Um, the the support from all the the local communities as we went through was so good. Um, honestly, it's just left me with really, really, really good memories of, uh, of what happened over the weekend. Yeah, the turnout of people was absolutely phenomenal. In all villages, you got the shops in all the little villages yeah, as well. Purely, people purely, stood purely, in the doors shouting bridge. for you. And, just ran, random yeah. people, random <laughs> dog walkers even. Yeah, it was it's, just brilliant. It was fantastic. Um, aid stations. Uh, Brilliant, brilliant. 14 aid stations on the 100, and I thought they got that just right. Um, there's one section that was, I think, just over 10 miles apart, and we felt that one. I think that the, the usual ones were probably more like around seven, seven and a half miles apart, and I thought they were they were perfectly spaced, absolutely yeah, perfect. and well stocked as well. They oh, had everything, everything you could possibly want was there. Really with, good. With some Oh, the smoothies. Oh, yeah, one smoothies, of milkshakes. 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 Oh, again, another one. Uh, absolute yeah. pick up. My, pers them. my personal favourite was dipping a uh, cheese and ham sandwich into soup. Uh, that was a great way of getting calories down yeah. for me because I normally like, struggle. Yeah, the cheese toasty as well. Cheese that was, toasty. That definitely a pick that was... up before Jacob's ladder <laughs> needed that. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, picked up quite a few injuries on the way, um, but you run 100 miles in the Lake District, so that's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, got a nice blister on the sole of my foot. Um, let's put a picture up there, have a look at that. It looked far, far worse when I took my shoe off. Uh, it looked a lot worse than that. Um, I fell, twisted my knee, which required a knee support and painkillers. So I did quite a bit of uh, bit of running after that, running, walking, limping. Um, but I was never going to quit. That was just not going to be... It was not going to happen that day. It just wasn't going to happen. I think we'd come too far in to uh, to even contemplate that. We couldn't quit. He told us we couldn't quit. Yeah. So we didn't quit. No. We weren't no. allowed. No. No. As long as we can keep we moving allowed. forward, we have that to was keep it. going. <laughs> no excuses. No nothing. Unless we seriously damaged ourselves, we weren't allowed <clears throat> to quit. Must admit, it did make uh, the uh, the the descent from uh, the. Was it something like five five k three mile the last yeah, bit? Yeah, the last bit. We went up Jacob's ladder. We were told that was it in front of us for the ascent. It wasn't, so we went up the original steps at the bottom, and then it just went up, 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 
but it was coming down. That was that was the problem. That is a naughty, naughty descent when you've done over a hundred miles, and your legs really are jelly, and you're so tired. You've you basically got you're in your second night, no sleep. Uh, and the not... wind had picked up as no. well, just to add to that descent, because yeah, that was <laughs> you were basically putting your poles in the floor and hunkering down as the gusts came in. Another, another, <laughs> another really good thing. But this is this is not just true of this event. This is true of all ultra ultra events. Uh, the competitors, absolutely brilliant. We're all in it, and we are in it together. And it's definitely definitely that that way. Yeah, the um, spirit of yeah. everyone, all the fifties going past you and giving you motivation as oh, they were running past. And, so so yeah. good, so good. The people we talked to along the way, like I said, met new people. There's other people we'd be we'd be in front of them. They'd be in front of us, and we'd be jostling for for position. Certainly not competing against each other. It's just just the way it works. Um, yeah, so many good people. Um, definitely our biggest challenge on this one. Definitely, um, hundred percent harder than anything we've we've ever done. But we did it, and that's all that matters. Yeah. So we're sat here with our medals. And until next and year. Well earned. And uh, <laughs> yeah, until next year. But yeah, I think our names might be going in, going in again into the ballot for that one. Uh, and we'll see. I don't know. See if we can do better. We did well, just under thirty-four and a half hours, and I think we can better that. I do think we can better that. Um, but yeah. Like I said, this is a race to make you quit. It didn't make us quit. And we're very proud of that, to be honest. Anyway, thank you for watching. We yeah. appreciate it. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.